Hey guys, welcome back to lesson 5. Today we're going to talk about something called the Super Pythagorean Theorem. I'm sure you guys know, or at least have heard about the Pythagorean Theorem, right? Uh, but this one is called the Super Pythagorean Theorem, theorem um, unofficially the Super Pythagorean Theorem. So, let's explore this guy. Let me first introduce the Pythagorean Theorem, right? And hopefully you guys know, uh, or have seen this before, when we have a right triangle with legs A and B, and longest length in this figure is C, the hypotenuse, right? The relationship between uh, A, or among A, B, and C is A squared leg squared plus the other leg squared would equal the longest length in this figure squared. This is a Pythagorean theorem, okay? And we can use this for any right triangle. Something similar, this, this similar idea also um, applies to a any rectangular box. And this rectangular box would have dimensions of A, B, C, right, which would kind of be like the legs here, right? And then longest length D, the longest length you can fit in this figure is from one far corner in the back all the way up to the front corner right here opposite that vertex. So that would be the longest length we can fit in there and we call that D. Okay, and the relationship between these four variables would be A squared, the leg squared, plus the other leg squared, plus the third leg squared, would equal the longest length in this figure you can fit, squared. Okay, and we call this the Super Pythagorean Theorem, okay? So let's try to, to use this and, and see if we can make sense of this. Um, let's try this one. If I gave you a cube, and it doesn't have to be a cube, I'm just going to give you the same uh, dimensions, 2, 2, and 2, uh, only to make this problem easy because this is our first time doing it, but to use the Super Pythagorean Theorem, you, these dimensions do not need to be the same. Okay, But let's say they are for now, just to make the calculation easy. We have a 2 by 2 by 2. How can I find the longest distance you can fit in this figure, that distance D? Okay, From one far corner to the, the other uh, front corner here. And the relationship is 2 squared plus 2 squared plus 2 squared equals d squared. Okay, that's a 4, 4, and a 4, so 4 times 3 is equal to d squared, which means if we square root both sides, I get d is equal to, square root of 4 is 2, and then root 3 just remains. So 2 root 3 is um, the correct answer for this one. Um, now, do you need to know the, the Super Pythagorean Theorem for the SAT? You actually do not need to know it. Uh, if you know it, it'll help, it'll make some problems easier, and you can solve them faster. Um, but even if you didn't know, what, what the College Board expects you to do on problems like this is actually not to use the Pythagorean Theorem uh, and make this problem too easy, but what they are expecting you to do is for you to be able to draw in this right triangle here, right, so that you can use that angle. Um, we know that this is a 2 right here because that's the height. We know that this right here would be, once you figure it out, it's, it's actually a 2 root 2, right? Because this is the diagonal of the bottom face, which, is, which in this case is a square, right? You take that bottom square, uh, which is a right angle here, and you cut, cut it by that diagonal. It gives you a 2 by 2 by 2 root 2 um, triangle. You can use this, the Pythagorean Theorem or the 45, 45, 90. Um, if what I'm saying is not making much sense to you, it doesn't matter because you don't have to use that. And I encourage you not to use uh, this right triangle, rather, I, I would like for you to get in the habit of using the Super Pythagorean Theorem. So in all cases where I use the Super Pythagorean Theorem, I'm, I'm using it to make this easy, uh, easier, but in our, all, all, all of these cases there is an alternate way to do it, it, which is by using the Pythagorean Theorem for a right triangle over and over and over again. Okay, so rather than doing that so many times, we can just apply the, the Super Pythagorean Theorem once and be done with the problem. Okay. Let's try some other applications of this. What if I uh, didn't ask you for that length right there, okay? Because now that's easy enough for us, right? Since we know the Super Pythagorean Theorem. What if I said, um, I want you to find a distance between a point which is at the center of this top face, at the center of that top face, to this vertex here, okay? This distance right now is not the longest distance. It's not the longest distance in the figure. That distance would be, or this distance would be, right? The longest length. This distance, distance is not the longest length, okay? So 
Um, how do I apply the super Pythagorean theorem to this figure? Well, first of all, if we don't, then you would have to draw a right triangle right here, making that the right angle. Then that's the, the, that's the triangle that you would need to draw. But to use this super Pythagorean theorem, here's something you can do. See if you can uh, see what I'm doing here. That's the center right there, so I'm going to put some extra points here. And do you see what I just did? I'm going to darken that a little bit for you. I cut this figure out, right, so that now within the smaller figure, that distance I'm looking for is actually the longest in that figure now, right? And so if I were to give you the same exact dimensions as before and said this is a 2 by 2 by 2, now what do I know about the smaller figure? This right here is half, right, because that's at the center, and I cut it right in the middle, so that's a 1 by that's going halfway into the center of the bottom face, so that's a 1, and this now, of course, stays at 2, which means the dimensions of this guy are 1 squared plus 1 squared plus 2 squared, and that would equal the longest length in that figure squared, d squared. That's a 2 and uh, 1 and 1, which is a 2, plus a 4, that's a 6, equals d squared, which means that d would have to equal the square root of 6. Right? And that would be our answer for this problem here. Let me show you another example. What if this time I didn't ask for that length, but I, I gave you the same dimension, right? same cube, and this time I asked you to find the distance from the mid midpoint of this length to the midpoint of this side here. Okay, so the distance will be that guy there. Again, I can cut out a piece of this uh, figure. And since this is the middle, I'll put a point there in the center of the face and make my first face, right? I can do the same thing in the back. I can make my back face. And I can connect these guys. Okay, now in this figure, hopefully you can see that figure once again. I'll make this darker a little bit. In that figure, that length that I just drew in there is now the longest length you can draw within that figure, right? Within that, that, that new rectangular box. So again, to find this, this length will be a 1. This length stays a 2. This length is now a 1. So I do 1 squared plus the 2 squared plus the 1 squared is equal to d squared. That's a 1 plus a 4, it's a 6, equals d squared. Once again, we find that that's actually, it turns out to be the same length, d equals square root of 6, for that distance as well. 